I, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. You have no proof. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. What's up? Today, we will be fighting Cassiopeia. Gee, I wonder who she could be. <laughs> Do you mean Penny? Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, yeah. who's definitely not Penny, who's <laughs> definitely been... You know, not the... And he's that quiet little girl in the corner. She wouldn't be a big oh, boss. Oh, no, she wouldn't be a big boss that has awesome Pokemon of every type of God knows what, because we were sat there wondering what type she'd be because every member of... She, I mean, she uh, has that Eevee backpack, so we were wondering if she might have, like, an Eevee. Uh, it's something to do with something. Eevee evolutions, definitely. Like, but, yeah, so we got to come back to the school. Yeah, we haven't been here for ages. Haven't been here for ages. I'm actually quite eager to get this battle over with because um, I learned if you do all the history teacher's classes, she gives you the location of the black stakes on the Not map. the black yeah, stakes! Yeah, the black stakes for the, um, the, the sealed Pokemon sort of thing, the, the thing evil you, Pokemon. The thing that you have no plans for. No, 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 no plans, no leave, plans. Leave the evil alone. Oh, it's our dude, it's our main dude. Oh, it's our bro. It's our bro. Sup, MZ. <laughs> <laughs> Director Clavel. Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? <laughs> Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Oh, dear. Allow me to reveal my true identity. It's ha -ha! actually... <laughs> I am Penny. <laughs> oh, God, that would be a twist. <laughs> Remember me. Remember me. <laughs> I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. It was rather clever, was it not? <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant disguise. You fooled absolutely everyone. You had no idea. <laughs> In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Uber Academy. He you sat know, the young boy <laughs> <laughs> with wrinkles. <laughs> all this time, he sat there going, "Yes, it was me all along." We sat there going, "We." We knew it was you all along. And he's like, yes, I'm sorry to have deceived yes, you. I know you didn't know all along. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clavel. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I already knew that. <laughs> what? But my disguise was perfect. <laughs> I even did all the slang that the kids do. I had the hair and everything. The bouffant hair. <laughs> Although, okay, <laughs> to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions, that must have been what gave me away. <laughs> Regardless, I'm going to look over this way now. There is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me? All along? What? Me? Uh... Am I Penny as well? That's impossible. Honest to goodness. Sorry, my mobile telephone communication device beep. My mobile telephone communication. Honest to goodness. <laughs> when you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. Oh, okay. Well, what? That's that's blown me away. I was convinced it was Penny. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh, yes. They were very clever. Uh, so, Miss MZ, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Well, okay, I was um, wrong. We, we what? We were completely wrong. Wait. Wait. We're challenged by director. Wait. Wait. I'm gonna rule. Graham, go! Oh yeah, meet Graham. <laughs> meet Graham. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will fucking stop talking, okay? I had no control over that. I know, MZ. Um Wait. Yeah, that that's that's completely done me. I was convinced we, we were both convinced it was Penny. That Penny was Cassiopeia. I thought it was Penny. Well, that's quite clever though, because like, so he, he did all that to be able to like basically bring everyone, but like to help the students to begin with, but then to bring them back into the fold as well, I guess. Right. 
I'm... If, you, if you think about it, it's quite clever, actually. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, anger. Right, I need to rethink my strategy. Uh, okay. This, this I, I will give it this. This game is good at throwing me off when it comes to the battles. Yeah, no, that's, that's taking us by surprise. Right, right so like meet Graham. my team. Yeah. We have Graham, <laughs> Flameton, Swamp Ducky, Bun Bun, Puddin Pear, <laughs> and Tinker Hell. Some of you will recognize the other guys, but uh, Puddin Pear is new and so is Graham. Don't ask about the name Graham, it's, it's my idea. I asked uh, I asked DJ, I said, I said, what should I name my Annihilate? And he was like, Graham. Like, <laughs> I was it like, wasn't even a second's pause, I was going, Graham. Yeah, yeah, it, I was like, perfect, wonderful. Um, right, uh, psychic, okay, um, crap. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got some up for this? Yeah, yeah, no, I do. I've just, I've just thrown off. I yeah, was, no, that's. I was highly surprise. anticipating Graham to go forward and kick ass, but uh, he can't with the the psychic. What? What is it? Just psychic, um, Oranguru? Uh, I think he's maybe psychic normal. Okay, right, yeah. We will Damn. see Brutal Swing. What an exciting way to come back to Pokemon. And yes, I know. Orangaroo, that's his name. Orangaroo. Orangaroo. Like orangutan. I was going to say... He's like, he's like a guru orangutan. He is, yeah, yeah. They've kind of mess, mashed up the words. Orangaroo. He's not new. He's from um, one of the other games. Yeah, let me say, yeah. yeah. Well done, Tinker Hell. You just Tinker Hell, him. no problem. Houndu. Oh, you reached him. Oh, a... Brilliant, but you're very strong against Dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, fucking. Keep yeah, that yeah there. keep current Pokemon in. I mean, the only downside is Tinker Hell is part steel. Oh, fire, yeah. Oh, crap. What is. Why isn't it? Uh, uh. That's supposed to be super effective. Is Dark weak to Fairy? Or not? Yeah, Maybe. it is. But fire is not resistant to it, so. I am confused. Don't know. Help us, guys. Oh. Either way. Oh, well. <laughs> Dead anyway. as well. Evans did some serious training. I did some serious training. I did not want to lose to... Uh, Poltergeist. Uh, to Poltergeist. who I thought was Penny. I'm so confused. Right, uh, well, so well, Poltergeist. It's still fighting Cassiopeia, isn't it? So. Yeah, no, I suppose so. Right, well, I guess I'm going to go. Graham can have his time to shine. Graham! He, this guy is awesome. I love him. After you, you like his design. Fought, after you fought him, didn't you? Like, I need to get one of those. Mm. <laughs> he is, he's badass, man. He is. He's a badass Pokemon. A little pulty guy. Um, can you see the little, so where he uh, he evolved? Can you see his things that like broke off of his wrist? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'm, he's, I'm, he's got yeah. one attached, but like it's just like cracked and yeah, stuff where his arms right. got so beefed up. <laughs> he's just too strong. He's too strong. A moon gus. Oh, a moon gus. What's that, that again? A moon gus. It is a, uh, a, a grass type. Ah, uh, well, you got something for that? I do indeed. Go, where you go? I varied my team a bit. I kind of, I, I stick to like poisons and darks and ghosts and I really shouldn't all the time because it pushes me into a corner. It's good to have so much strong of each type, really, mm. isn't it? Oh yeah, Moon Gus, yeah. yeah um, Foon Gus is the pre-evolution, yes. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Bitter Blade. That's a brilliant, I love that move. Oh crap, effects. Oh, this you, this is the one sleepy annoying thing about him. He can't poison me if I'm asleep, so. Can it not? You can only have one status effect on at once. So really? if you are asleep, you cannot be poisoned, you cannot be oh, paralyzed. Okay. I thought it, you could be for some reason. Nope, you can't double up on status effects. All right. So there's a little tip for everybody. Oh, crap. I say you could have probably, you should have healed your sleepiness, shouldn't you? Uh, I was hoping I'd just wake up, but. Um, Might be worth waking him up. Um, Have you got any awakenings? Cause, uh, I suppose that would heal him as well. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good shout out, Shims. See, she's got the smarts. Smarts. Flame Tom, wake up. <laughs> wake up, Flame Tom. And he healed. He's like, mmm, I'm healthy. Hex won't work as well now because I don't have a status effect. <sighs> of course, of course. Mm. Go and end him. 
Another bitter blade. Blade. I love bitter blade. Yeah. And, and that will heal you a bit, won't it? Yes. Well? Yeah. All right. Might get another status effect, sadly. No. No, no, it's mm, very new. No, sometimes it kicks in afterwards. No, I think we're all right. Uh, oh, Bomber Snow. snow. Oh, well, okay, so... Well, you're fine, because that's ice, uh, ice, isn't he? Yeah, 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 no, he's... Well, he's ice grass, so he's a double-up oh, of um, fire down. weakness. He's like... Bah! Snow warning, but it failed. I'm a rubber monster. I'm really fucking hurt. Yeah, I really fucking hurt. <laughs> oh, you, now you're fine, but you're back to full health as well. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Clark, he's not as uh, as strong as I thought he would have been. You're quite mean, really, aren't you? Quack Quavel. Wait, who's Quack Quavel? I don't know. Oh! The the one of the starters, the water oh, starter the that duck. nobody wanted. The duck. You yeah. get to see the final form. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I'll be interested. Which is it. water, so we're not sticking with Flameton. We're going to no, switch. No, we switch that out. So, water, water, water. He'll be, he'll be water Puddin something. Puddin Pear can have his time to shine now. I wonder what this other, because it'll have two typings, won't it? Because uh, your uh, cookie had two mm, typings yes, when you yeah. evolved. Go puddin' pear, look how cute he is. I'm a puddin' pear. You're <laughs> a puddin' pear. Hey, to think I died, Cassiopeia would be backed into a corner like this. <laughs> Almost like I couldn't see properly. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> queen. Yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, last one, isn't he? What, what's your best? What's the strongest electric move? Is it electric? Well, we're gonna terrestrialize. Oh, just oh, you've just you've just destroyed this guy. Yeah, this is the last one, so uh, we're going to discharge. <laughs> Very well. It seems I should have to terrestrialize my pocket monster. <laughs> my pocket monster. That's what they're really called. Oh, the glasses! They're gonna fall off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my hip. <laughs> Is that? Oh, fabulous. Ice. Is that ice? No, that's water. That is water. Sorry, okay, right. That is water type. Which is something that is... <laughs> His little wiggle. Oh, wiggle. no. He just constantly dances. He's like a little flamenco dancer. Flamenco. Arriba. No, wait, that's, that's what I always do. That. Arriba. 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 Underlay, underlay. Light bulb. Feel the power of the sun. <laughs> I suppose that'd be fire, wouldn't it? Do you take a step back, please? This may get fucking dangerous. Oh no, not dangerous. I'm not sure what you can do. Aqua step. What's that? Fuck oh, hell wow. that hurt. And Jesus his speed Christ. Rose. Well. It did charge you up. It did charge me up. Come on, in one. We need to go in one. Yes! MZ, give me them fives, girl. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Puddin has brilliant special attack. Like to think like, how much you were struggling before. Like you got to train, man. You I really know. got to train. Fuck. It looks so sad. How strong you have grown. I know. Also, I'm your, your real father. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame, really. You haven't been coming to class, but you're quite good at battling. Also, you haven't been going home to see your mother. <laughs> Whoops. She's now pregnant. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, now... My child. <laughs> <laughs> We're having quadruplets. Oh, God. Well, now, Miss MZ. Fuck, that was your name, wasn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a stupid name. It seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. <laughs> Did you find any, Trevor, by the way? I would what really... is your treasure? Is it just beating me? <laughs> and here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Ha <laughs> ha, fucking gotcha, you've been punked. I saw that going, I already knew you. He's like, yes, I know, I've deceived you once more. Also, I'm not really Clavel, I am. Clive. <laughs> Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity Remains hidden. Then why? Unless you Google it. Then you why it. did he bother pretending to be Cassiopeia? Just doesn't. Yeah, yeah. What was that all about? What's the motive behind that? I'm very confused. Yeah. I'm Unless not... it's to just throw people off. But why though? You're right. I guess weird that that. Yeah, I don't know why he would do that. Pass. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. 
That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. So uh, yeah, oh yeah, he just wants, doesn't want you to know. Yeah, yeah. So it's if you because if he had beaten you, you'd carry on thinking he was Cassiopeia, and you wouldn't go and look for someone else. I guess. Right, I see. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. You can find those in the woods. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> bears. <laughs> Bear Pokemon, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're called pocket monsters, MZ. Beware. Bear Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> and none others are coming to mind right Teddy now. Teddy Ursa. Like... <laughs> <laughs> However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any... What's this guy in the back doing. He's, he's just cheering. Dancing like a man. He's been there since the start of the game. He has. He must be really tired. Uh, Any ordinary student NPC could, life. <laughs> could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. <laughs> if you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. Wait, what was I saying? But please, <laughs> defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star, and win. Yes, sir. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. Oh. Oh, God, who are you? Professor Time! Do you work here? I swear I wasn't having an affair with another one of the students. Oh, not again. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> uh, should I do oh, Yeah, I'll do Yeah, it, you go for time. Uh, she kind of reminds me of the uh, the ghost gym lady. You know? Yeah, like the Rastafarian. The Rastafarian style. one. You there, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? <sighs> Nothing. Put that camera away. Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clap. <laughs> oh, fuck, you're so scary up close. <laughs> I come here to investigate reports of illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? <laughs> Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. You have no proof. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, um, um, rather sad tale. Um, uh, oh, oh being so scary. <laughs> oh, spare me your excuses. You reek worse than skunky's behind. That's rude. <laughs> a stunky's behind. <laughs> uh <-hum. laughs> anyway, MZ, remember the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. <laughs> Ignore this teacher behind me. <laughs> I am counting on you, Miss M. <laughs> MZ. <laughs> You'll write a letter of apology to the students and the faculty at once. You work for me, bitch! <laughs> You're fired! I heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry this time. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. She works for me too! <laughs> Good, gra Good gracious, no! Uh, anything but that, I'm for you! <laughs> <laughs> what a dynamic. Oh dear, I do like the teachers of this day. It's so funny. I love Clavel. He's like one of my favourite characters. He's, he's dope, I really he's like, like It's me! It's me! I fooled you all along! Right, I think we are... I think we're all healed up. I don't think we're... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah everything's... Healed. Right, so I guess we okay, gotta okay, go... Meet, uh, meet whoever the big boss is. I wonder who it could be, MZ. Who do you think it is, MZ? It's Penny. Is it you, MZ? Are it's you the big boss? Penny. Is it Miss Time? <laughs> oh, that would be a twist, wouldn't it? It's actually like one of the teachers. Right, let's remember, we need to go to the schoolyard. Yes, we do. Uh, where is the schoolyard? Yard. Wait, does it... Does is it? She said after dark. Does this count? Oh, uh, we might uh, go sleepies for a bit. They they said. Oh no. Oh okay. Is it okay? Oh. Hello, it's me, Clavel. <laughs> Look at that awesome backpack. Gee, I wonder who it could belong to. Uh, MZ. <laughs> yeah, the hood helps. Guess who? <laughs> Thanks for coming. If it was still clever. We know though. your outfit. Hello. <laughs> she didn't even change outfit. 
Oh shit, got a little badass look on little face. smirk on her face. Hey, this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Kit Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. <clears throat> Enough of this stutter. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much <laughs> as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you in too, helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. Hello. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. Hello, smirky yeah, face. she's changed now, the stutter's gone. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no, I'm I, scared. I'm so ready, Penny. Thanks. My name's Cassiopeia. Oh, why is he in his gear again? Sorry to keep you, it's me again, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The letter of apology missed time at me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, uh, no I mean, is that you Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I have a task for you Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star, they need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay! <laughs> oh, I've slipped! <laughs> I like how he went through the effort to go back and change. Yeah. Oh dear. That allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. Wait, so is her real name Cassiopeia and not guessing Penny? I'm her actual name is, yeah, I think it's actually Cassiopeia. Oh. No. no, Penny. No, okay. P P Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Founder. Me, Penny. Please. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Oh, and then it goes into like a sweet thing and then a little smirky smirk. You are challenged by Penny of Umbreon? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be all the Eevee evolutions. Obviously. That's oh, why obviously. she... I, I won't hold back in this battle, I'll stay true to Steam Stars Crowd! The Dame Crowd Crowd! And you bring! All the rocks start lifting around her. Oh, she turns. So, uh, we, we use the phrase turns to super I didn't want to say it, I just I said know. the rocks raising around her. Look, look, you blinked. You blinked. Oh. Well, I wonder, Nemzy. I did blink. This is the power of Graham. <laughs> Graham the whole Graham! Flareon. Flareon, well. Are we doing keeping, um, keeping him in or switching out? Actually, we could. I've got Puddin' Pet and he knows Water Pulse, but I think I might keep Graham in because he does no Stomping Tantrum and that is oh, a ground wow. type move. Yeah, that sounds good. That's the, uh, so Stomping Tantrum is quite funny because uh, it's uh, literally a, like a stomping tantrum sort of thing, but if you miss one of your moves previously, this move gets stronger. Oh yeah, the next turn. Yeah, that's, that's really good actually. Oh, boo, don't make an attack ball. <laughs> he goes all squishy. He does, he goes all squish. Boom. Even though they made you attack ball. Penny, you're not very strong yet. <laughs> Penny, you suck. We were training for two weeks. We were playing training for two weeks. It has been about two weeks since the last recording. Uh, Vaporeon. Okay, now I will switch. Right, Vaporeon, Vaporeon, oh, water type. Pair. This is why I have Puddin' Pair. Puddin' Pair. Puddin' Pair. Yeah, I think it's been, what, it's been two weeks since the last Pokemon recording we did? Yeah. So she's just been tanking it. Oh, I've just been trainering. But it's not that hard in this game, really. Not with, like, the XP share with all your Pokemon. Yeah. Um. So we are going to... What's better, Thunderbolt or Discharge? Uh, you can do move info if you're not sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Thunderbolt so is 90. 90. Oh, God, you know what? I never even realised that Thunderbolt was so tough. <laughs> it did say something else though, there might have been some other blurb with it, but... And that only increases my power. Puddin' Pet's a little fucking machine, isn't he? He's is a little machine. He's a unit. 
unit. It's a good part of Vaporia. They are dropping like them flies. Uh, she's going to have Sylveon last, isn't she? It's going to end it with Sylveon. It's definitely going to be Sylveon. Leafy are, well, we know who you want for that. <laughs> Flame Tom. Flame Tom. Flame Tom. Go, Flame Tom. I, I will defeat you. Oh, fuck a fire type. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's really fiery. I am loving. Flame I choose a grass type. I choose a grass type against Flame Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter blade! I believe in you, Leafy. They all do baby doll eyes, but that's pointless if I'm just going to switch out my Pokemon. Yeah, because that... Um, yeah, because when you switch them out, they, it cancels that out, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Don't know why they keep doing, doing that. Doing it again. That's not very good. Come on, Penny. Come on, Penny. You're supposed Team to be the... Team Star leader. You're supposed to be the big boss of Team Star. Freaking Arvin was tougher. Arvin was a beast. Penny. You tell you, you know what? There is so much. Oh, Jolteon. There is so much artwork of Arvin. <laughs> I bet there is. On yeah. the internet, yeah. like he's as he as he's yeah he's also one of my favorite characters. He's, he is he's a dude. surprisingly well loved in the community. Oh no, not not surprising at all. I I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Well, he, some people such... got like annoyed with like characters like him, but like as the story progressed, like he got. I mean, to be fair, I didn't, like, I didn't like him at first, did I? Remember, I took a piss Neither out. Neither did I. So I was like, give him this boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And like, then I was like, actually, he's so cool. Yeah. Right, I'm going to set up some toxic spikes as well while I'm here. Cheeky. Yeah. Doing a little cheeky move. Yeah, yeah little toxic Doing spikes. Doing one of those cheeky, cheeky moves. Yeah, yeah, fucking hell. You're right. So is that when she brings another Pokemon in, it damages them? Yes. Yeah. So when Sylveon comes in, Sylveon's just automatically going to be poisoned. Earthquake's a beast of a move as well. That's one of the most powerful ground type moves, isn't it? Earthquake. One of the most powerful ones. Good job, Swamp Ducky. He's a good duck, duck, duck. Oh, well, I guess Swamp Ducky's going to stay in because guess what? Swamp Ducky's a poison child. Oh, fairies don't like poison. Yeah, fairies don't like poison. Uh, poison and steel are their weaknesses, aren't they? Yes. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the boss is full of your hands. <laughs> If I lose, I'll dye my poison. hair black. Sylveon was poison. Uh, probably overkill. Your poison's going to destroy him so quick. Poison jib jab. Poison jib jab. Poison jib jab. Poison jib -jab. But we're also going to toast the Time to do us the light shine bright like the sky sky and become what you really want to be. <laughs> Look at her, she can barely hold on to the ball. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really little still. She's so, so little. I'm also Penny. I'm also Penny. But I'm, I'm also Cassiopeia. But I'm Cassiopeia. <laughs> so Cassiopeia's the confident side of her and Penny's the shy side. Yeah, she's literally like a, like a Jekyll and Hyde sort of Yeah, character. a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. But you're no MZ. And you don't have a swap, ducky. MZ is all hide. All hide. It's all bad. Ass. Look at my baby. Swamp ducky. I'm a swamp ducky. Um, I have skulls and crossbones on my head. <laughs> There's nothing you can do against me. <laughs> You're already poisoned. Oh, uh, well, one more of those. It's just going to hurt her even more. Yeah, you are done, Pen Pen. You are done, Pen Pens. My VV power because you just start us. VV power? VV power. V v EV power, I guess. Moonblast. That's quite, that's quite a strong move, isn't it? But not against you. Not against me. Not against that typing. Not against me. I lose poison jam. That's how I imagine Swamp Duck. He's all <laughs> I'm a Swamp Duck. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is insulting to Swamp Ducky, all right? No, nope, never. He loves beer. He's like, I'm so happy. <laughs> He's more like Swam Ducky. <laughs> That's actually how I imagine um, your pair guy, your pair one to be like. <laughs> it's all over now. It is. Ooh, 15. 15,000. You are minted, Penny. Ah, oh, just tell you what, it's worth beating people just to steal their money off. It's afterwards. worth being a hacker. It is, yeah. Oh, she's got a coin. Too right. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Now give me your backpack. I want the backpack. Yeah, not my backpack. It's all I have now. Oh, lore. is this gonna be a? We got some law, guys. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. 
Oh, she's on the phone right after the... Oh. Hold up! Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them something, learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them to the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, it is I, Atticus. <laughs> <laughs> he has to like announce himself every you time. You like that voice, don't you? <laughs> Merely did we declare our intention to battle to the nail, should the villains persist in their tyrannous suppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You try and remember all the voices that we've done. <laughs> they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. <laughs> Our outfits must have spooked them good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the outfits, I'm sure. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired spec uh, epically. There's no way we're getting off Scott free. I guess you're right. This little stun might have put us up the creek, no? I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? Fucking listen. <laughs> I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Yeah, yeah. So this is back in the past where they started a huge fight. She took responsibility and they sent her off for like a year and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, they, yeah. yeah. She just got sent away. Michelle. Yeah. Oh, noble and kind boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, so she told them to go to school again? Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's that's why this is, like, that's why she did all this, wasn't it? Like, she wanted them to go back to school, but um, obviously they didn't. Obviously. They, they made these little team stuff. Yeah, it kind of backfired, didn't it? Oh, yeah? What about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop right there, BB. <laughs> oh, BB. BB. Big boss, yeah. yeah big uh, boss, yeah. Why are you taking. Why, why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. I ran out of toilet roll. <laughs> Privy, speak to us. What is thine intent? Dot, 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 dot. Hey, big boss, answer us. Oh, oh she's right there. there. She's right there. Bye, bye, guys. Thanks for everything. I mean that That's is when she that is like dedication to leadership. Like they never actually met her as well. Like, yeah. I know we, we heard that before anyway, but it still blows my mind that you'd oh, follow someone you've never they met. They all need to meet in person now. This is the yeah. Oh yeah, they probably will. Yeah, they probably will. Yeah. Thanks for everything, MZ, and you too, Clive or Clavel or whatever the fuck you are. <laughs> I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. <laughs> I'd like to check something with you first. Ch check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? It just makes no sense. <laughs> Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to the big boss? Our coach states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. Mm, I see. So it's back to the cold once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. But if she asked, like, whatever she would ask them, like, they would do it, surely. Because they were friends. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they, they followed her so devoutly. They did, and they didn't even meet her, as you said. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. 
Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? There. <laughs> there. Aww. My greatest treasure. They refer to That's not what the I whole team. <laughs> yeah, the, the, they refer to each one of them. Always refer to like their group of friends as their greatest they, they treasure. They were their greatest treasure. Yeah, splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? What? <laughs> uh, well, what you say? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed! Oh, but I am an old geezer, you see! Surprise! <laughs> well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Director Clavel! <laughs> Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise! <laughs> <laughs> the the oh, boy God. you knew was Clive was mine. She actually fell for it. <laughs> she did, yeah. Meanwhile, Penny. we're across the way going, really? You didn't know? Penny, Penny come on, Penny. Oh, God. But, but why? She doesn't get out much. <laughs> I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all. Much more so when face of the director of the Academy. Academy. <laughs> yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? <laughs> Plus I have some big feelings about that wig. Big feelings? Um, that was my real hair. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> like rips off his it hair. Whips off another wig. <laughs> well, that's quite enough of that for now, you bitch. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <gasps> Oh, hello. They'll be like, damn, you are really small, Penny. Well. <laughs> I mean, Cassiopeia. Huh? All right, I can't control this cutscene. Yo, big boss, a long time no see. Momo. <laughs> she calls him Momo. Oh, that's Giacomo. cute. Giacomo. More like no time no, no meet. I mean, we found your real name just now. <laughs> <laughs> Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance the sight for sore eyes, my lady. I speak well, do I not? Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. Have you, how have you been this whole time? Orty. <laughs> he calls him Orty. We found you at last, and no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Oh. Oh, it's touching. It's touching. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, okay. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. <laughs> and hello, Penny. Aww, that's sweet. That's nice. Come on, hug. Big hug. I like the little bouncy music in the background. Now then, Miss Penny, look back at me. Each of you young bosses as well. You're all expelled. <laughs> You're all expelled. Get out of the gun. <laughs> After all of that. <laughs> On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Uh, come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. I have forgotten them now, though. <laughs> Age, you know, right? Age, uh, not dementia. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. Hmm, I wonder why it was free from bullying. Probably but, because of them. Yeah, they kept it together. Yeah. But I now know this peace was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to right and so I'll get straight to the conclusion conclusion <laughs> the academy is all up for team star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey still stands <laughs> <laughs> get off my school get off my property are hereby revoked 
Does that mean what I think it means? I don't know, you dumb shit. What do you think it means? <laughs> Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist. Should that be your wish? Aww. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? She turns all girly. Isn't this great? Yeah, we can do a stay together. <laughs> Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee, though you cannot tell from my voice. <laughs> but, but I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Yeah, I'm still here, the one with the weird voice. <laughs> Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You, uh, what's the word? Just worried about us, right? Not that we'd ever chuck the team's... <laughs> Not that we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. I am Atticus. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Aw. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But, but, even so. Aw. Bravo! Bravo! Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. <laughs> Look at me, I'm clever. Oh, God, are you done talking yet or not? <laughs> no, listen. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, <laughs> however, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. You haven't attended classes for a year. You're all getting Fs. <laughs> you don't know a fucking thing. You protracted truancy! Your brazen customation of school uniform! Oh no! <laughs> I am the Scottish guy! <laughs> your unauthorized usage of academy equipment! <laughs> your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles! <laughs> Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked! <laughs> ah, fair. Ah. <laughs> But Clavo, we love you. Thus, as punishment, you'll all be required to engage in community service for 26 years. C community, community service? service? <laughs> yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs, that horrible disease is going around. Oh god, that does sound like a disease. <laughs> Don't get STCs going. Don't get STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. Clever, right? I came up with that just now. Oh. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pocket Monsters League. Pocket Monsters League? That is the correct terminology. It is a poker the correct terminology. The idea came to me when I saw Miss... Her name's Emzy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Battling her way for your bases. The basis construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. Oh, and that is the sum of it. Any concerns? That's pretty cool, actually. That does sound <laughs> it's like really you're cool. being punished, but you're going to do something that you like doing. Yes, um, it's, not, it's not really punishment, but they're still being useful. Yeah, it's because yes. like, like, cause he, he, like, he probably he has to punish them. Has to punish them. He doesn't somewhere. want to punish them, so that, that's what he can do. Yeah. Um, no, it sounds like fun. I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. That's the thing. It's a win-win situation. This may be a weird thing to say, since the STCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should tell each other to pretty. It is true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can't go to school together. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. <laughs> we were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us, as sweet as Mama's cannolis. So what do you say? You guys. Emzy, what do you think? So I only have Basically, yes things. or yeah. Why well, is it not yes an option yes. for no, you're going to I think fail. it sounds great. Give it your best. I think it sounds great. This is, I can't go against it. Huh? But, but um, I just 
No need to give you a sponsor at this moment, Miss Penny. You can save the game and come back later if you wish. <laughs> Do take some time, right? Okay. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it is time to leave. What the fuck's this old guy saying? <laughs> Miss MZ, please stop by my office later if you would. Oh, that was a nice scene, wasn't it, Ems? That was a nice scene, wasn't it, guys? Why am I in my dorm? <laughs> uh, oh, you are? Yeah, it's my little dorm. That's just the place to be, I guess. To the oh, director's office. To the director's office. That's what we're yeah. doing next. Uh, oh. Oh. Where do you want to go? Uh, where is he? Director's, director's office. office. There we go. Oh, what's going to happen here? I don't know. Maybe he's going to give me his wig. Maybe, but which one's the real wig and which one's the real the hair? Real wig. Oh, you startled me. Here you are, Miss MZ. Here's my wig. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. Yeah, because he took the time to learn about what was going on and why they did it. Like, he's just like, well, you know, they're fine. They're, they're a good bad. bunch, really, aren't they? You have my sincere gratitude. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, that's not me. Who is it? Oh. Um, it's Penny. Oh. Ah, uh, Miss Penny, do come in. Hey, Pens. Uh, hello, Director. Oh, should I start this back? <laughs> Hi, hey. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news! <laughs> Thank you very much for your favourable response! <laughs> we couldn't have progressed the game without you! But um, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Please, please punish me. Punish me. No, don't don't turn it into one of those. Why so? Because of operations. She Starfall. looks about twelve. Punish, <laughs> punish me. Operation Starfall. No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. I've been really bad. Oh, what she, would that be? Is she going to talk about hacking the la the league points? The lapus. She hacked so much and gave it to us. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, it was even mentioned about someone had been hacking LP points. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, the, 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 the I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall. I got hold of it sort of illegally <laughs> by hacking the Pokemon League's the, the, the management system. Ah, fuck. <laughs> well, you now are expelled. <laughs> that is quite the Get revelation. Get out! <laughs> also, Team Star completely gone. <laughs> quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. We're going to hire you. I'm ready from Google. Yes. If you're a hacker, we'll just hire you to work for us instead. It wasn't all that hot. Uh, I mean, I'm ready. Really it wasn't sorry. all that hot. I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Your system is shit. Do you use out of date McAfee? Oh, oh my god, McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This matter is out is rather out of my jurisdiction. I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita. I've forgotten who she is. The Pokemon League chair. Well, that's who she is. Yeah. Chairwoman. Yeah. Yeah. And how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss MZ, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm back in my door. <laughs> but yeah, you're just like, I'll go back to my dorm then, I guess. I guess I'll just. Okay, yeah, well, that that's all we have time for um, in this episode. What a good episode, though. Well, that was very confusing to start with because I thought we were just going to go straight into like a battle with like uh, Penny, where she was going, I'm Cassiopeia, but they mixed it up a bit and tried to throw you off. Yeah, well, I mean, it did throw me. I, I was I was convinced that he was then Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, did you think it was? I was like, I was, what the hell? Like, I was like, I was like, then what's the deal with Penny? <laughs> Yeah, but, I, I was still convinced we were gonna like face Penny at some point, but I yeah. didn't know what her what was going on with her after all. But no, 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 no but she was she was Cassiopeia no, after no, all. No, Clive was, was, Clive. Clive was trying to protect her. Clive, Clive was trying to protect her after all. Like cool little stands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm so I cute. beat Team Star I person. Beat Team Star. I beat my headmaster. I beat my headmaster. <laughs> but yeah, no. So. Uh, <laughs> We'll leave it for this episode for now. So Penny has been beaten. The whole Team Star thing has been revealed. She's met up with her friends. Brilliant, wonderful. That's very heartfelt. 
If there's one thing Pokemon does well, it is the heartfelt moments. I, I, I had say. the tingly warms. The tingly I had the tingly warm warms. So I suppose next would be Pokemon League, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. So next. we've gone as far as we can with Titans, mm. and we've now done Team Star. Yes. And we can't continue Titans until we do Pokemon League. Yes. Pokemon League next. So the Pokemon League will be next. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for staying with us. If you've been here for the duration of the playthrough, there's more to come. And yeah, so we'll see you all in the next quest. Bye-bye.